hello hello it's echo today i would like to talk to you about an underrated art supply that i have become weirdly obsessed with crayons i'm an artist in case you didn't know i've been drawing like my whole life so naturally one of the first art supplies that i ever had growing up were crayons and as a child i won every coloring contest i ever entered into i beat kids double my age with crayons and now that i'm older i've realized that crayons are actually a pretty good art supply if you know how to work with them. Personally, when it comes to coloring things, I have a bit of a preference. I don't like textured color. I like color to be smooth and just solid. And I have felt this way since I was a very young child. Textured coloring looks like a mistake. You can make it look intentional, but if you don't, it looks like a mistake. Disgusting. Now I could have just found a coloring page for this example, but I'm an artist and overachiever and I don't want to put someone else's copyrighted work in this video, so I made my own. It's just like a cute like clown girl. She's a bit Monster High-esque. I'll put a link to that in the description if you want to download, print, and color it yourself. I would extra appreciate if you would tweet it to me. It's a good practice sheet for these advanced crayon techniques. There's a couple things that kind of suck about crayons. They get dull really fast and they're made from paraffin wax. So they're waxy and they leave a lot of residue. So first I'm gonna start with the very basic way to use crayons. Most people would think that as long as you're coloring within the lines, it's like totally fine. And it is, but we're not going for fine, are we? We want to get a couple levels above that. Most people will pick their colors as they go and then just generally shade in the area and be done with it. It's a pretty straightforward way of coloring. You know how to basically color. You pick a color, you pick an area, and you shade it in. It's pretty straightforward. And then you end up with something a little bit like this. If a seven-year-old did this, you would be very proud. All the lines are filled in, the color placement and choice makes sense. This is like a perfectly fine coloring page. There's nothing wrong with this. It's reasonable, but I don't want to be reasonable. I want to be amazing. And that's why I'm going to show you my way. When I want to color something with crayons and I want to make it look real badass, the first thing I'll actually do is pick out a bunch of colors that are roughly what I want and I'll make a sample sheet of color. When you look at a crayon, the color of the crayon might not be the color that ends up on your paper. I mean, that's really just a general art thing. You should always swatch your medium. Now I'm going to introduce you to a tool that is incredibly important to me, my scraper. This is actually a carving tool for clay. I use it to remove the wax from my crayon masterpieces. This is something that I've come across in my adult life that I have been using with crayons recently because it's more effective than the method that I used to use, which is also going to be the method that I recommend to you. When I was in elementary school, if I was doing something with crayons, I would take a standard number two pencil, rip out the eraser, and then smash the metal part. And that would essentially give you the exact same tool that I have here, except this one costs like $3 and that one costs like two cents. At a very young age, I realized that I did not like the texture of crayons and I did not like the feeling of the wax that was left over. So if I was going to color something, I would separate the wax and the pigment by just scraping it off. And yes, it is a very annoying sound to some people and it does get little wax shavings everywhere. Art is messy deal with it. Personally, I find it very therapeutic. When I'm coloring with crayons, I use a lot of pressure and push very hard to make sure that I'm getting as much pigment embedded into the paper as I possibly can. When I'm coloring a single block area, I will actually pick two colors that are very similar so that I can make a gradient. A gradient is a solid way to kind of hide the crayon texture. Also, I recommend coloring in small circles rather than broad strokes. It just helps lay an even layer of pigment. So I use my two crayons to make a decent gradient. I also put extra pressure in the middle so I can try and blend them better. Whatever crayon color touches the sheet first will be imprinted onto the paper. So be very careful of exposed paper and those tiny little wax shavings because they can leave spots on your drawing. You know how alcohol-based markers will have a fine tip and then a brush tip? I treat crayons the same way. So usually I will go over the edge with the sharp point and then fill in the center with the back of the crayon. That's how I keep my crayons sharp. I very much recommend coloring your entire page before you begin this next process because the very last stage in this is a bit of a mess. You take your fancy scraper tool and you remove the top layer of wax, leaving nothing but the pigment that's embedded in the paper. I find this part of the process to be incredibly therapeutic. It's like a massive scratcher ticket or a giant scratch and sniff sticker. Also, if you're surrounded by people you don't like, it's a great way to be annoying. Look at that madness. Do you see? 
do you see? When something is colored with crayons, even if it's very lightly, you can feel the wax that's on the page and it doesn't feel good. People will prefer this because it looks and feels printed. Also, it looks like it's printed in gloss now, like a magazine. This video is pointless and means nothing, unless of course you enter a lot of coloring contests and you really want to kick ass. The amount of coloring contests I won using this method. I'm a badass with crayons. For reals though, crayons are a very underrated art supply. Tell me if you liked this video or if you thought it was weird. That's okay. I'm gonna go live my life and color some stuff with crayons and watch The Office and drink coffee like an adult. I'll give you 850 awesome points for making it all the way to the end of this video, but I think that's it for now, so hopefully I will see you later. Goodbye. Seriously though, try it. It's really therapeutic.